Good, e good evening, everyone. This is the Transport 3 channel here. While I was at the grocery store today, I got this Hot Wheels Kia Rio. And I even found a reading highlighter thingamajigger at the dollar store, but I didn't buy it. I, I mean, I thought it would work for me for when I have trouble reading. So, you can see you know, here, this is my set of the city of Birmingham. If y'all look, look right there for just a second, you can see that I made the city of Birmingham all by myself. And there's still more work to do, so um, hopefully tomorrow's story time or the updates that I'm going to be doing, I should be able to make, build it complete. But anyways, we're going to get back to the story or else we're going to lose storage. But anyways, today's book is Friendle by Andrew Clements. Chapters 3 and 4. Chapter 3. The Question. The first day of school was always a, a get acquainted day. Books were passed out and there was a lot of chatter. Everyone, everyone asked, what did you do over the summer? Periods 1 through 6 went by very smoothly for Nick. But then came period 7. Mrs. Granger's class was all business. The first thing they did was take a vocabulary pretest to see how many of the 35 words of, for the week they, the kids already knew. Tremble, circular, orchestra, the last one on and on. Nick knew most of them. Then there was a handout about class procedures. After that, there was a review paper about cursive writing. And then there, there was a sample sheet shown how the heading should look on every assignment. No lap, no laptop for 37 minutes straight. Nick was an expert at asking the delaying questions, all known as the teacher stopper or the guaranteed time waster. At three minutes before the bell ring, in the split second between, in the split second be between the end of the today's class work and the announcements of tomorrow's homework, Nick, Nick to launch a question guaranteed to sidetrack the teacher long enough to delay or even wipe out the homework assignment. Timing was important, but asking the right question, that was the hard part. Questions about stuff in the news, questions about the college, the teacher went to, quest went to questions about the teacher's favorite book or sport or hobby. Nick knew all the tricks, and he had been very successful in the past. Here, here he is in fifth grade near the end of his very first language arts class with Mrs. Granger, and Nick could feel a homework assignment coming this way. A farmer, a farmer can feel a rainstorm. Mrs. Granger paused to catch her breath, and Nick had had has had shot up. She she glanced down at her seating chart, and then up at her, uh, and then up at him. Her sharp gray eyes were not even turned up to half power. Yes, Nicholas, Mrs. Gra Mrs. Granger, you have so many dictionaries in the room, and the and and that huge one especially. Where did all those words come from? Did they just get copied from other dictionaries? It's sure that it, that it sure is a big story. It was a perfect thought grain. Kapow! Several kids smiled and few peeked at the at the clock. Nick was famous for this, and the whole class knew what he was doing. Unfortunately, so did so did Mrs. Granger. She has a, she hesitated a moment and gave Nick a smile that was just a little too sweet to be real. Her eyes were the color of a thundercloud. Why? What? An interesting question, Nicholas. I could talk about that for hours. I bet. She glanced around the classroom. Do the rest. Uh, do the rest of you want of uh, you want to know too? Everybody nodded yes. Very well then, Nicholas. Will you do some research on the subject and give a little oral report to the class? If you find out the answers yourself, it will mean so much more than if I just told you. Please have your report ready for our next class. Miss Granger smiled at him again. Very sweet. Very sweetly then. It was back to business. Now the homework for tomorrow can be found on page 12 for your Words Alive, Words Alive book. 
Nick barely heard Mrs. The, the assignment. His heart was pounding, and he felt small, very small. He could feel the tops of his ears growling, red. A complete shutdown, an extra assignment, and probably a little black mark next to his name on the seating chart. Everything he had heard about the teachers was about the teacher was true. Don't mess around with the long granger. Okay, guys, I gotta step out for one minute. I need it. I need to catch my breath, so I'll be right back. Holy smokes! Whew. I almost lost my breath. Anyways, <laughs> chapter four, word detective. It was a beautiful September afternoon. Bright sun, cool breeze, blue, blue sky, but not for Nick. Nick had to do an, a little report for the next through the next day. Plus, copy out all the definitions for 35 words for Mrs. Granger. That was not the way school was supposed to work. Not for Nick. There was a rule at Nick's house. Homework first! And that meant right after school. Nick had heard his older brother, James, groan and grumble about this rule for years. Right up until he graduated from high school two years ago. And then James wrote home... Wrote home from college after his first semester and said my grades are looking great because when I come here I already knew how to put first things first. The letter was the proof the proof next mom and dad have been have been looking for homework first was the law from September to June. This has never bothered Nick before because he hardly ever had homework. Oh sure he looked over the spelling words on Tuesday on Tuesday nights, and there have been a few short short books book report in fourth grade, but other than that, nothing. Up to now, schoolwork never spelled over his over until his, until into his free time. Thanks to Mrs. Granger, those days were gone. First, he looked up the definitions in the brand new red dictionary that his mom had bought because Mrs. Granger told her it took. Almost an hour, he could hear a baseball game in John's yard down the street, yelling and shouting. And every, and every few minutes, the sharp crack, crack, crack of a bat connecting with a pitch. But he had a report to do for Mrs. Granger. Nick looked at the very front of the dictionary. There was an introduction to the book called Words and Their Origin Origins. Perfect, Nick thought. It was just what he needed to do. Just what he needed to do his report. It, it, he, it was. It would all be over in a few minutes. Nick could already feel a sun and a breeze on his face as he ran outside to play. Homework all done. Look at Nick. Then, excuse me. Sorry, I burped. Anyways, then he read the first sentence for, from the introduction. Without questions, the modern American dictionary is one of the most surprisingly complex and performed documents ever to be created. For it embodies unpar unparalleled en entomology detail reflecting not only superb le lexicography, Lexicographic scholarship, but also the dreams and speech and imaginative talents of millions of people over thousands of years. For every person who has ever spoken or written in English, he had a hand in his in its making. What? Nick scratched his hand and, and wrote it again, and then and then again. Not much better. It was a short of. It was sort of like trying to read the ingredients on a shampoo bottle. He slammed the dictionary shut and walked downstairs. Nick's family did a, did a lot of rings, so bookshelves covered the three of the four walls in the family room. There were two seats of ecom ec encyclopedias. The black seat was for grown-ups, and the red seat was for the kids. Nick pulled out the D volume for the red set and looked up dictionary. There were three full pages we we with headings like early dictionaries, word detectives, and dictionaries today. Not very exciting, but he 
had to do it. So Nick just plopped down on the couch and read all of it. And and when he finished, when he and when he was finished with the kids' book, he opened up the black e e e e e encyclopedia and read most of it. And read most of what he had said about dictionaries too. He understood only about half of what he read. He leaned back on the couch and covered his eyes with his arms, trying to imagine himself giving a report to on on. A, on all this boring show, he'd been lucky to have three minutes worth, but because Nick was Nick, he suddenly had an idea, and he, and he brought a grin, a grin to his face. Nick decided that giving the report could actually be fun. He could make it into something special. After all, Mrs. Granger had asked for it. Okay... Well, guys, um, hope you enjoyed chapters 3 and 4 of Friendle. We will read chapter 5 and 6 tomorrow. Um, right now, I am gonna, I, I gotta do something real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And after that, I will come back so that we can do our Transport 3 channel update. Because, uh, we have a new, uh, we have a new thing that we would like to introduce to you that's called Kindergarten Rocks. And, uh, um, this is a new show that, um, this new show that we are planning right now, so we're not sure if it'll come out on WBRC Fox 6 News or not, but but right now we are still in the planning process, so I'm I'm gonna stop talking about it because we are still in the in the planning process. But anyways, I'm gonna do something real quick and then we'll come back for our Transport D channel update.